I drank that water in Scotland. I wasn't sick, but I shouldn't have really. We've been living off-grid for years now, but there is one problem that always plagues us. Whether it's boreholes that don't work, shallow wells that draw salt, or ponds that take months to install, water is our nemesis. And last month when we went to Scotland, it didn't get any better. With our stream running low, we were forced to rely heavily on a gravity filter. Not a problem. Or so you'd think, but more on that later. Well, after years and years of struggling with water, the YouTube gods have delivered. And because of that, this video is sponsored by Itahill. We've been given a filtration device from Itahill. So initially, when we were looking into this machine, um, I was thinking, well, how can it do all that it says it can do? You know, it's got these little filters on it. It's saying it will do wetlands and ponds. It will take from, you know, it will filter urine. It will filter basically anything you throw at it. Really brackish, filthy water. Ponds, filthy water. And you think, well, how do these little filters do all that? Uh, so you're really skeptical. You know, you look at it and you think, okay, elephant in the room is, it looks a little bit like a toaster, but this is actually a handle. And I thought, little tiny filters, how are they gonna take that much muck out of stuff? And I have been massively surprised at how good it is. And this machine is so impressive. And I'm just gonna have to show you just how impressive it is. It's got a USB-C charging port. It comes with the cable for it. Got on off. It's got a row filter light and a hybrid light that comes on. When the filters are done, a little light comes on and tells you change the filter, which is much better than anything I've got because you have to work out, I've put a meter on it or work out how many hours you've got. And it's a bit of a job to tell because obviously your water is dirty at different times. Especially if you're drawing from a pond, you can't always say, I'll give it six, you know, thousand gallons or whatever, and then it'll be, because it doesn't work that way. It's changeable. You have rain, this gets marked up. Sometimes it's really clear, sometimes you can see the bottom, other times you can't see a foot off the top. This tells you when it needs changing, it knows that they're getting clogged. So, inside here, you basically just screw these filters in. You've got a row filter and hybrid filter. This one's three to four hundred gallons of filtered water. This one does six to eight hundred gallons. And they just push down, screw in. There's little signs there which way to turn it. It's really simple. Instructions on the top so you don't forget how to do it. Really simple, very light. It's, it's got batteries in it as well that you just charge up. That's about it. Lights to say it's running, lights to say it's charging, lights to say filters need changing. We put them in, I think it cleans itself a little bit first because that's what it does every time you start this up. It does a little bit of self cleaning because it doesn't know how long you've stored it away for before your next use and there might be some dirty water in there and it puts it into another tank. So this is the really impressive thing with this is it not only is putting really drinkable water in a bottle, it's also putting what you can use for washing in another bottle. So it's filtering it and it's backwashing and cleaning its own filters. And that is how these little filters can last so long, which is absolutely brilliant. We'll go like that, put this one in here. How this would have helped us in Scotland is, I could have gone down to our stream, our filthy stream, fill up with some filthy water, bring it back. You cannot even take this down and fill up like that. But I'd probably just bring this back put this on a table and I can pump this, the water that's for washing and things, straight into the van, straight into the motorhome. And this one can just go for drinking water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some water from the pond and we're gonna test it. We've got this TDS meter here that stands for Total Dissolved Solids. So we test this water, see how filthy it is what parts per million are in there of bits of organic, it could, you know, mineral, vegetable, or whatever is in there floating around. And uh, it doesn't discriminate really. That's one of the problems. You have to use another test to see if there's chemicals in there and all the other things. But parts per million of bits and pieces, this tells you what it is. And this is very, very accurate, this one. 
I'll put it in the description anyway, if it's brilliant. Um, right, so I'll try and get this water now, without falling in the pond. Okay. So that's what we've got. Looks pretty clean, to be fair. And that's straight from the pond. Now we'll do our little tester. Put it in there. 356 parts per million. Can get that on there. Right. That's pretty bad. Not as bad as it was yesterday. Uh, and the day before that when I tested it, it was 500 up there. So ideal drinking water runs from 0 to 100. Hard water is 100 to 200. Then it's 200 to 400 is reluctantly acceptable tap water. We're just under that. That saying is reluctantly acceptable tap water. There's a little filter on the end of it that goes in here. And the little pipeline comes around, it goes in here, and you press this button, turn it on, hold it for a couple of seconds, and you've got the run light come on. Straight away, it's running the water that is. Um, flushing so it's cleaning itself it's doing itself cleaning thing it doesn't know how long it's been switched off for very very quiet and now we're starting to get drinking water just starting to come through okay and it's just that little trickle but you end up with in two minutes you end up with a liter of water Sorry. 19 19 is what it's come at. If you can see it on there. 19 parts per million from 400. Now, we tested our own water because we've been drawing from this pond and our own water was just over 200. And we go through a big filter, 20 inch by four inch, carbon filter, there's a pre-filter, a polyester type filter, then there's a big carbon filter that, before it goes into the tank. Then it comes out the tank and it goes through a long 20 inch by two and a half inch polyester five micron filter and it goes through a one micron polyester filter that's four inch And so what we've actually started doing is actually using this to filter our own water to get it more clean. So then we looked at it and we said, well, what was the water like when we were in Scotland and how good did our gravity filter do? So I'm not going to name names. I don't, this isn't an attack against gravity filter. We don't know whether it's because the filters have got tired in Scotland even though and he did that dirty water just once and they should last a lot longer than that. The trouble is it looks so clean. I'm hoping it is clean, I'm hoping this works today and it's flushed through. So, this is the gravity fed water. Four hundred and twenty. It's virtually done nothing. So either the filters get so messed up that they don't clean anymore after basically one lot of dirty water. So it's something to watch out for. Maybe they're only good for, literally good for tap water. And I thought they'd been would have been better than that. But they're you know, they're ceramic filters, which is what we use on there. All right, they're, di they're slightly different. But I've used ceramic filters on there before. We didn't have this issue. They still took, you know, the dirt out of the water. And the trouble is that looks so clean. But that was shocking. I did that test a lot. I did it a lot and lots and lots. So I had to keep cleaning it through and 
checking that everything was all right on these, going round it all, all the seals. And this is what it gets you. It's got rubber seals on the bottom. So anyway, other people's might not work that way, but that's what ours has done. And they're such a well-known name as well. I'm not even going to mention the name, but um, yeah, I mean, it, it's. Uh, I drank that water in Scotland. So we were boiling it first. Yeah, some people were saying about boiling it first, but that looks so clear, doesn't it? I wasn't sick, but I shouldn't have really. So for whatever reason, the gravity filter isn't filtering water as it should. It just isn't making a big enough difference to actually make it safe for drinking the parts per million, let alone anything that might create by it like a virus. Whereas that is meant to take care of all this. And obviously I can't test for virus. I'm not um, working in a lab, but I've got certain things that help and I've tried this on various water sources and I can believe that they're true. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's been working. And um, obviously the other thing I tested was what was getting by our filters. Um, like, was there any lead, mercury, all the rest of it. And the water's really clean. What we're getting through all those carbon filters is coming out good. Everything was in good parameters for, for everything So that we tested. This 16, used some 16 in one strips. Uh, one thing I haven't done is just tested it just on the pond water to see what that is like. And then we can test it on what this has done. So that might be worth having a go. So we'll just do this in this pond water just to check what we've got. One, two. Uh, show how many seconds we've got to wait. So what have we got there? You can see on there that really dark purple one is as really hard water rating is the parts per million one. So everything else is clear. So then we'll try this one. The fresh clean water. Everything is the same. There's no lead, no nitrate, no nitrite, no anything else. The only thing is this is on the scale of hardness. It's a blue instead of purple. And on there for hardness that means zero or somewhere between zero and 25 which is what we're looking at we're looking at 19 it does the bits so it's been tested with this it's been tested with that it does clean water so let's try and summarize what's happening here is this thing is doing a better job than all of our filters on there it's done a better job than the gravity filter it costs a lot less money than we've spent on that side it costs a bit more money than the gravity filter, but it's obviously runs on batteries and it's actually cleaning the water. It comes with all the pipes and everything. I really like the idea of doing two things. So you get two lots of water at each end. You get one and also a usable source of water that is for washing. You get very drinkable water and you get this thing that tells you when, it's, when the filters are done, the lights come on to say when your filters have actually had enough and you know when to change them. The only reason you would risk a, this, a gravity filter is if you don't have electricity to charge this up, in which case it's worthwhile. If you've got electricity or you've got a power pack, I'd have to say don't bother with the gravity filter, get this. And I never thought I'd be saying that. I never thought I'd be saying how good this machine is. So if you wanna get one of these and make sure your water is really clean, Use the code right here.